I'm still waiting for my ESCs to put together my ZMR430. So while I wait, I figured I would start the next frame. Which I'm going to do the same way with ply. But using this... Hmm, battery died. Where was I? Okay, so there's the... Uh... The idea. It's a nice picture off eBay. Made up the templates. Drawn it onto... The ply. Cut out the bases. The arm template. Or basically run off like so. That's the top plate. And uh, when we're done, we'll call it the hummingbird, I think. I'll make that double width. Should be strong enough for the 1806 motors with the 5 inch props. So, basically, you can see there with the 5 inch props, should be something like that. Keep going. With the arms, I'm just using a bit of PVA glue to put two bits of ply together. So it's about three mil ply, so six mil arms thickness. <laughs> and uh, I've gone up and stolen some pegs off the line to hold them together while they dry. We'll be in trouble tomorrow, but oh well. This is the the cost we pay for progress. I'm going to try something a bit different mounting the arms onto this one. I'm going to use a bit of double-sided foam tape to put them in place here, top and bottom, and I'll put the other plate on top, and then screw them all together with the foam plate in between the motor and the body. Just might stop a little bit of vibration. Well, that's the theory. It also help with the assembly, so something just a little bit different. We'll see how it goes. And there is the basis of a mini hex. So whoop, that's the the original. That's the ply construct. We have a a mount up here so that we can put a FPV camera up the front and we might even stick a bit out the back here for not sure about the motors but for the FPV stuff looking good